Using the CFW-10 Easy Drive, you can power your three-phase motorized equipment from common household single-phase power. In addition to phase conversion, the CFW-10 Easy Drive also gives you the ability to precisely control the speed of your motor. For machines like our drill press here, that means no more annoying belt pulley changes when we want to change the speed of our bit. Temco recommends placing your drive inside an enclosure to protect it from dust and debris that can be created by your machine. When choosing an enclosure, be sure it is large enough to allow heat to escape from the drive. Mount the enclosure and the drive securely on or near your machine. Once you have the drive mounted, it's time to connect the single phase supply. Strip off approximately 3 eighths of an inch of insulation on each of the wires from your supply cord. There should be three wires here, two power wires, and a green or bare copper wire for ground. Connect the two power leads to the terminals marked L slash L1 and N slash L2. The ground wire connects to the terminal marked with a PE. Next, connect the three wires coming from your three-phase motor. The order here is not important. Just like the single phase, you'll want to strip about three-eighths of an inch of insulation off the end of each wire and insert each one into the terminals on the bottom of the unit marked U, V, and W, and tighten the screws securely. Now it's time to power on your machine. Plug the cord into the appropriate receptacle. We're using a 120 volt model here. If you're using a 240 volt unit, your cord will look different. The unit will power on a display RDY on the screen, indicating that the drive is ready for operation. Press the start stop button on the drive. The motor on your machine should begin to turn slowly. Now press the up arrow keys to increase the speed of your motor. The display on the drive will show you the frequency that it is outputting. For most motors, 60 will be full speed, 30 will be half speed, 15 will be quarter speed, etc. Press the start stop button again and the motor will decelerate to a stop. The drive will remember the speed that you last had the motor set to, and when you press start again it will automatically spin back up to that speed. If you will not be using the speed control feature for your equipment, you should set the speed to 60. If your motor rotates in the wrong direction, simply power off the unit and reverse two of your three phase leads on the bottom of the drive. The CFW-10 is a very versatile drive with many advanced features not covered in this video. For more information on these advanced features, please consult the manual available for download on our website. To purchase a CFW-10 or for help selecting the correct model for your equipment, visit us on the web at www dot temco industrial power dot com or call us at one eight seven seven four seven four eight two zero nine